Yo guys, what's going on? It's Hefty here and welcome back to this new tutorial on my channel. And in this tutorial I will be showing you how to do this TV screen replacement effect. I've seen it in a lot of montages by now and I've already used it. And in this video I'm gonna show you how you can do this by yourself. So I already have some things ready here. So this is my cinematic and some overlays. Now insert your cinematic. And first thing we're gonna do is to time remap it. First I'm gonna cut it here because I want it to start here. Then just go there where the movement like stops. Just you can just drag it to cut it, then select it, go to your keyboard and press Ctrl, Alt and T. This will bring up this timer map keyframes. It's like in my last videos. Just go to the end and to the beginning of the clip. You can do that by pressing I and O on your keyboard and just place a keyframe. Then just press I, go to the beginning, do a keyframe, move around with these arrows, just one to the left to insert, no, to delete the keyframe from that's like empty, just like this one. You can just delete it. So you'll have these two keyframes, and let's make it like four seconds long, so we'll just drag the end keyframe right here and cut the clip. Now select both keyframes, press F9 so you easy ease them and go to your graph editor. Now you can select the left one, drag it up and the right one and drag it down. That's what I usually do for my cinematics. And I would actually want um, to go into the TV. Now I'm going backwards, so just select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes, exactly like that. And just like this, this will be all we need. So now what you want to do is you want to create a new composition and you can do that by going over here and pressing on this button. This will bring up this right here just put the duration to 4 seconds according to the clip right here and yeah we'll leave the frame rate on 60 you can do whatever you want and this width and height so now you're in the new composition um, I'm gonna drag this overlay into there. It's pretty small, so press S on the keyboard to bring up the scale right here and scale it up. Or what you can also do, if we go back, right click, transform, and fit to comp. So now we still have these black things right here, so I'm gonna scale it up a bit more. And now go to layer new and text. I mean, you can put anything in here. I'm just gonna put some text in here. Like we can call it Hefty Presents. This is the acquire font, by the way. Um, yeah, you have your text right here. You can align it. If you want to open this, just go to window and make sure that Align is enabled and then this you will have this right here now you can just align it to put it into the middle um, now if we right click on this text layer then we can go to layer styles and show all this will bring up the section right here to the left and this is just like Photoshop if you know it from Photoshop, but you can add shadows or glows in here. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna enable the shadow and open it up. Maybe put the distance a bit further away and the size. Yeah. This should be good. What we can also do is maybe do some outer glow. So enable that. And I'm gonna put it to white and make it a bit bigger. And you can play around with that. I'm gonna go to one second, press T to open the opacity, keyframe it. And I'm gonna drag this keyframe to the two second mark. Then I'm gonna go back and put the opacity to 0%. So it will slowly fade in after one second. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the second one, put it above all of these. So it's some kind of glitch thing. And I'm just gonna cut it to the beginning. So I want to stop here. So just press Control, Shift and D. So you make a cut. And I also want it to be at the end. And now you can either Control, Shift, D or you can just drag it if you see it on the screen. So it will just pop up in the beginning and in the end. Now the last thing we're gonna do in this composition is we're gonna go to layer new and create a new adjustment layer. Um, now I'm just gonna drag the VHS effect on here. This is from the universe plugin so you will need the universe plugin for this effect. Then I'm just going to tweak around with some settings. I don't really like the noise, so I'm going to remove it. Put some interlace error into there. So we get like a really cool old TV kind of style. So this should look good. Here's the before and the after. It just gets this VHS style. I think it looks pretty good. Then you want to go back right here to the cinematic and you're gonna go to all of your files and put the composition in here. So we have it in our main composition. Now what you want to do is you can first disable that, that will be no problem. And we're gonna pre-compose our cinematics. So click on it, right click and choose pre-compose. Then just, I'm gonna name this cinematic, move all attributes and adjust the duration, okay. And then we're gonna search for the 3D camera tracker and put it onto the cinematic. This will now analyze the camera movement so we can move this right here onto the TV. So now that this is tracked you will see all of these tracking points right here. If you don't see them make sure that you have the 3D camera tracker selected. So now it's not selected, now it's selected. And also if you go to view and show layer controls, this should be enabled. Then you will be able to see these tracking points and you want to choose one that looks good. This one looks 
pretty good because the target is right on the TV. Then right click and choose create solid and camera. Now you'll see you'll have this solid tracked to the position of the TV screen. Then go to the solid and press P and also shift R. So you'll have the position and the rotation or orientation of this clip. Then copy both of these with Ctrl C and paste them onto the thing you want to replace with or like our composition and also enable 3D right here for this layer. Then you can enable that and disable the solid. This is tracked but it doesn't fit the scale so press S to bring up the scale and just drag it down and now you can see it's not perfectly there so just move it. You can also use the arrow keys right here. Um, that's the wrong layer. <laughs> just move it that everything fits in. That's very good. So we're gonna mask it a bit. Um, for that, you can disable it and now press G on your keyboard so you'll have this mask pen tool. I'm gonna put the resolution up to full so you can fully see these edges and then just zoom in while holding Alt and use your scroll wheel and then just make point right here and if you hold and drag you can do some curves with it. This is actually inverted, so move it a bit so that it fits the TV screen. Let's go here. And you can do one in between and then drag it up. This is the easiest way to fill in these spaces. So now that I have this mask, you will enable the layer again and it should be applied yeah, it doesn't look perfect at all <laughs> so yeah if you put in a bit more time with this effect then it will probably look a lot better than this but i hope you got the idea and i also hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if yes, then leave a like and give me some feedback in the comments and also maybe come up with some other effect ideas I could do a tutorial on. I enjoy doing these tutorials for you and I hope you really learned something new and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.